Okay, so I know I did a horrible job on taping this deck. There's a reason for it. Today I just want to take a look at the E180 on the leveling of it, whether or not it's actually assisted with leveling or how this works. Now, first off, make sure the screen comes on, which it did. Good. Okay. So recently, well, it wasn't recently. It was back whenever I did the video on the E180 and leveling the bed, there were some comments that were made that the E180, the D200, they do not have the leveling where you control it all on the on the pad. You had to take and adjust the screws. That what I did over there did nothing and I was wrong and all that. Today I want to see if that was true. Now I printed that just a little uh, last night and it printed great on the tape that I just ripped off. So I want to put brand new tape down. Yeah, I just left some gaps here, but that's all right. Somehow it's not as white as the other t the blue tape is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a software reset. I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to go to factory default. Okay. I just cleared everything as far as what it knew was the home position for printing. Next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to print something. So let's go to the little dog again. I'm going to let it warm up. Now see the trick is it homes up here because that's where the switch is and then it calculates how far down to go for, for printing. So I'm just going to go ahead and let the thing heat up. Let everything get to the point where it's going to start printing the first layer. And let's just see how the front first layer starts to print. Okay, so as you can see it started printing. Oh look there, it's tearing up the tape because once again it's not been set because I just did a software update or, or software reset, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say kill it. Because there's no use in just tearing up more stuff that needs than what needs to be tore up, right? Okay. As you can see, got a little bit of filament on the build plate itself, but tore up the tape pretty bad, right? Okay, so once again. Tape. Tape. And tape. Good enough. Okay. So now we have the tape down, right? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep the nozzle hot. I'm going to take it back up to 210. Okay, 210. So while that's heating up, what I want to go ahead and do, let's do our calibration for the bed level. Once again, I am not going to take and use the screws. Let's make sure everything is in the same position it was at. Everything is up at the top. Okay, so we're going to go to leveling. I'm going to take a piece of paper. I'm going to go to, let's go position one. There we go. Okay, we're in position one. See, it's really tight. So I'm going to go to 0 0.05 millimeters. I'm going to tell it to go up. Now, 0 0.05 millimeters does it very slowly, but that's kind of what I want. And I just want it where it just rubs, just a little bit. I don't want it tight, just where it rubs. In fact, you know what? I'll make it a little bit looser. That's good enough. Then you hit OK. Go to position two. That feels all right, so let's go ahead and sit OK on that. Position three. That doesn't feel too bad. Position four. It's a little bit tight, so we're just going to go up one and hit OK. 
position five. It feels pretty good. So I'm going to hit OK. Now if we want, we can go back to position one, make absolutely sure that feels about right. OK, so now the bed is leveled, right? At least that's, let's just say that it is. Now I'm not going to cut the video at all. I'm going to leave it completely alone. As you can see, the filament's coming out. Everything's hot. I'm going to power this thing off. I'm going to power the thing back on. The screen's a little messed up, but it's still working. I'm going to go print really fast while it's still pretty hot. Go to that. Select the G code. Yep. And hit print. It should still be pretty hot, so it should still work. Now, if leveling the bed by the screen worked, when it goes to print, it should print on top of the tape and not dig into the tape like it did the first time. I'm going to make absolutely sure everything's flush, which it is. I don't see any tape getting tore up. I didn't have enough time to really prime that nozzle, which is all right. It should be primed here in just a moment. There we go. As you can see, it's all sitting on top of the tape. None of the tape is getting ripped up yet, which I'm going to take that it actually leveled using just that and not setting the screws, as other people have said that I had to do. Honestly, that's how I've also leveled the D200 was exactly the same way. So it does work. It's assisted bed leveling. It's not automatic, but it is assisted bed leveling. But it's not to the point where you have to move screws. It's just a matter of using the touch screen and hitting OK after you input everyone, every one of the, the touch points to make sure everything is correct. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video, show that that is how you do the bed leveling on this. And that was the main, the main just of this video. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you get a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you'll be able to take and purchase merchandise like this from my Tee Public store, or go to the Amazon affiliate and be able to purchase that merchandise from there. Every little bit helps the channel. I sure appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page over here. And if you'd like to watch my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh yeah, you're going to love them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.